All my life I've wanted to try welding. Heating a rod of metal until it surges into a hot river, changes shape and then hardens, well it just makes me breathless. I like the very idea of naked hunks of metal joined in a haze of hot flame to other naked hunks. Well a girl can never have too many naked hunks. Or too many leather accessories. Or pecs that are too firm or too glistening. This is my friend Doris Trelevin, and she's a welder, and so she's going to teach us how to weld. Because she's been a welder for a while, but three months ago she started a company for herself called Metalscape, and she's already selling out of everything she's doing. See, check these out. These are, uh, well, this is actually the first thing she ever made as a, a craft project. Yeah, like, just for fun. Like, yeah. just for fun. Yeah. And then this bigger one is a little bit more advanced as she's gotten better at cutting and decorating the um, steel structure. You must have had quite a thrill in your heart when you started doing that though. Yeah, well, I, was, I was doing things for fun and uh, giving things away and I just uh, thought, you know, if, if everyone likes it so much and people were asking me to make things, I should try and make a business out of it. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's a lot more fun than doing all the pressure vessel welding and all yeah. the Climbing in and out of tanks and yeah, you know, it's she's like uh, this like airplane like aerospace welding. So this is way more fun. And she lent me her gloves, which I'm really proud about because I didn't actually have the right gloves. And we're gonna figure out how to weld today because I have this idea for a garden trellis that's all curvy and romantic looking. So I'm, I'm gonna show you how to bend reinforcing bar. It's commonly called rebar. That's this stuff and you, it's very easy to bend it. All you need to do is make this jig. Let me just move these. And this is just a couple of pieces of wood um, screwed down to the table surface. And actually, if we that move these so we out. don't knock them over, then I'll pass you that. Mm -hmm. Then all you do is use your own body weight to lever this um, rod around. So check this out. Oh, <laughs> sorry. It's okay. Are you okay? See, look. See, look. That's all it takes. It is so easy. And you have to do it every inch or two. It's very graceful. Look. So that, this part right here where it's bending is called the pinch point. And you have to pinch it in, or bend it every inch or two so that you get a smooth curve. Because look, if I, if I go, if I don't do it often enough, I end up with a kind of a lumpy curve. And I don't want a lumpy curve. See, that's a bit lumpy. It's got a, it's got a few kinks in it. So to get a really smooth curve, you have to bend it more often. You want to try this? Yeah, I'll give it a try. She's actually not tried bending rebar before, but I haven't tried welding, so we're sort of even. <laughs> Okay, we're going to just flip it over, maybe do a different Yeah, go curve. the other way, yeah. This is a really neat setup. Like, if I was in my welding shop, I would have a steel jig. Um, it's a little more technical, but if someone at home wants to make this, this is actually, it's so easy to yeah. turn. I thought it would be a lot diff more difficult. Yeah, it's not so bad, really. You can, it's nice when you can feel it just start to bend. See? So, piece of cake, right? Yeah. So far, so good. And reinforcing bar is available everywhere. It's just what um, construction crews use to reinforce uh, concrete structures. Okay, so we got to bend about six of these long 10-foot bars to get enough material to make my trellis. So we'll, we'll be at this for a moment. Gorgeous. That looks neat. Okay, next. All right. If you're getting married soon, ask for a welding shower. People could give you leather accessories and other foxy attire, like sturdy work boots. And then instead of wearing a pie plate with bows taped on, you'd have a piece of plate steel and you could weld the bows on right there at the shower. Now that would be a good feature in a bride magazine. We're just talking about getting these pieces even rustier. The reinforcing bar that we bought is quite rusty, but um, there's spots where it's still gray. And I'm thinking, 
I think it's vinegar yeah, you put you on it. Put some I'll find on it. it. And then leave it out in the rain. It'll look neat. It'll look pretty cool. Yeah, it's nice. So we've got the trellis parts all made. Um, the only thing is the trellis, we've got the verticals made, but we need some cross pieces. So we have to cut them. So this is the cutting section. And there are numerous ways to do it. Um, Doris has got a pretty hot shot set up, so she's going to show you that. Yeah, this is our trusty little grinder here. Uh, I really like the these little guys. Uh, a lot of people have the the bigger ones, especially the guys, and they're pretty heavy and awkward to move around. And once they get going, they want to spin around. So these little guys are excellent. We have I have a cutting uh, disc on here, and we're going to uh, cut a piece off. But what we really have to watch for is uh, our eyes. It's so important. Like with working with metal, a lot of the grinds are much finer than with sawdust. And when it comes flying up in your eye, you could lose your eye in an instant. Yeah. And it doesn't take much. So I'd like to see what I make. Yeah, really. <laughs> you know? A blind welder would have a few problems. <laughs> it doesn't work well. That's no. right. So to, what do I do? Just ste step okay, away? Yeah, you can just step back and we'll hear if you don't want to wreck your hair, you know, you wear them like this. It's going to be a little bit loud, but it's you not too bad. You can't hear me now, my hairdressing tips. Okay, so we have a piece here, and we want to uh, give it a cut around here, do you think? <laughs> I can't hear a thing. Pardon? <laughs> Say that what? again. You're so, going to cut. You know, I'm going to cut a piece here. Where did you want me to cut? Uh, oh, just uh, about, I'm going to say about every third, we, we need about three pieces out of each three of pieces? the long ones. Yeah. All right. So there's about So good. somewhere around here? Yeah. And we'll uh, hold it on, and there's a safety clip. You just have to uh, push it down. Kay. It's going to be a bit noisy. That's all there's to it. That was it? Yeah, and it just comes right off. And then That's you can nice. take the uh, grinder afterwards and grind Polish off it. a bit of the roughness. Okay. Okay, so the grinder costs like 200 bucks, right? Sorry, I didn't okay. hear you. <laughs> My ear thing's on. Most things work. Yeah, they're really good. I was saying good. the grinder costs 200 bucks, so if you don't have a grinder, you can also use a classic hacksaw, which costs about, ooh, probably 20 bucks or something like that. Mm -hmm. It's it's, it works just great. Oh yeah, yeah. Like you don't need to have all the tools. You know, if, if you're just at home and you want something for your flowers to grow up, yeah. you know, the hacksaw's fine. It just takes a little bit longer. How much longer do you think? I'm pretty good. We'll find out. Okay. <laughs> Let me demonstrate okay. then. I'll just take a little tiny bit off. Well, little hey, choice well, might bit. as well. I don't <laughs> at least need the safety gear, because I've got... Okay, it's a little bit annoying. Okay. Uh, just let me get it started. You'll see how fast I am. Okay, see how fast it goes. Okay, wait. <laughs> okay, just as soon as I started, though. <laughs> we'll come. <laughs> Mind you, uh, the sun is going down. Uh... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I'm feeling very pumped. <laughs> oh, you can hear it. Yeah. It's getting there. Oh, right. Winner. All right. Way okay, well, clearly that's a little bit of a trickier way to go, but I always have the best ideas until I try to actually do them. Okay, so we're going to cut some cross pieces. And then we're going to assemble this baby. Yeah. Okay. We'll put it you together. to your grinder and I to my hacksaw. All right. A little race. <laughs> oh, I will then lose. Hardly a day goes by when I don't think, gosh, the things I could do with a laser. Factories are always cutting industrial materials with lasers, but just try renting one for home use. In my upper years, I'm going to become a laser rights activist. For now, I'll use a hacksaw, but I won't be happy about it. That's good. Yeah. Okay, great. woo! We have our 10-foot rebar bendy pieces. We have got five of those, and we're starting to lay the cross pieces on them now. One just fell off. I'll get it. Um, now, really, it's just a matter of um, 
putting them wherever we want. Yeah. So. They don't have to be perfect. Uh, that's the nice thing about having something like this designed too, is you don't have to be so accurate. You can do anything you want, any shape. And, you know, if you don't like one thing, you just move it another way. How until you, until you see what you like. You like that's that? That's radical. Yeah. Yeah, the only thing I would suggest if we're uh, doing trellises, when we're doing trellises, is to keep enough uh, end um, pieces out so that you can push it in the ground a little bit so it won't fall over. And the, a, a bar somewhere near the ground level so the plants can get a start on it and start climbing. So that way you'll have a nicer, fuller trellis once the plants go. Okay, I'll move this yeah, to that the Yeah, that looks That's fine. It's pretty wonky, eh? Yeah, I like it. It's funky. Okay, it's really neat. I'm thinking... Uh, I'm getting ready to weld here. All right. Ready? Yeah, let's go for it. No, oh, I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. Okay, we look kind of suited up, right? Like something out of a science fiction movie. So let's explain this. I'll do the thing. All right, this is our safety helmet. And right now, she can't see a thing. <laughs> it's a special glass designed to protect your eyes. The light from the welding can really damage your eyes. Yeah, so I can't, I totally can't see anything, but I could, I, I could actually make out the outline of the sparks when that's happening. Yeah, yeah, so you can see the actual weld, because it would hurt your eyes if you tried to look directly at it, just like the sun. Right. And then you have the apron, and this isn't just a regular cooking apron. This no, is it's a, a sassy little welder apron. Yeah, we have our leathers on. Yes, we do, because <laughs> we're leather babes. And what else? Oh, the gloves, obviously. Yeah, we need our nice gloves. And uh, you show them your studs there. Those Stunning are very, little very, very attractive. These catch the sparks. Yeah, so that you don't start dancing when the sparks That's come running right. down your boot. <laughs> OK, now, the other thing is, now, I've just learned a quick thing about welding. There's a bunch of different kinds of welding. Here's the thing. When we start doing this and you think it looks cool to you, take a course. You can learn to weld in a weekend. Okay, we're just mm -hmm. going to show you the basics. Like basically what happens is there's this thing and look, talk about sexy. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> I love that. Look. Woo! Isn't that cool? Oh, I'm hot. Okay, so this protrudes and this just melts into goop like this. And it makes a joint between the two pieces of metal. So we're just going to be melting wire. And how does it melt, you ask? Well, it, it, there's a, an electrical circuit. It, it's an arc. That's why they called it arc welding. OK, that's, that's right. all there is to it. This is MIG welding. And that's um, the kind that has this wire that feeds out. But there's all kinds of welding. And so you'll learn what you like the best. Yeah, and, and the courses really are uh, they're really excellent to take. I, you know, I can't um, stress how much benefit it would give somebody because it leaves the door open to so much more than just uh, having to deal with wood. You know, you can make your ornaments, your trellises, and you can even uh, weld up the muffler on your husband's car. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> when he so, doesn't expect it, yeah. right? Hey, honey, I fixed your muffler. <laughs> can you imagine what kind of a weekend you'd have if you did that for your guy? Oh, well, yeah. OK, cool. So um, I'm going to give a little demonstration on, on this piece here. And there's going to be sparks flying, but it's, uh, that's normal. So don't uh, you shouldn't be nervous. This isn't when you the circuits won't hurt you. No, um, it's not. A lot of people are, are afraid of because it's electricity. But this is uh, this is fine. We're all protected and and we're well organized. And they've they've shielded these things anyway better yeah. than they used to. Hey, don't forget. Okay, here we go. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can look now. That gives you just, just an example. Smoking. Yeah. Can I try it just once? Sure. Okay. And I'm left-handed. So maybe we'll uh, I'll switch sides here. Can I? Do, I'll just do it right-handed just for fun. Okay. Okay. So it doesn't actually start shooting sparks till I touch the metal. That's right. And you gotta be fairly close. I'm just gonna put it actually here so I can. Okay. And there and there will there's a thing called a puddle and yeah. you have to watch it. Uh, so that you're touching both sides of the metal. Okay, I'm working. I'm working on my puddle. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> Not All right. Bad. 
You did it. Okay, I didn't touch the other side of the metal at all. <laughs> but it's well, still a better little caterpillar than I made earlier. So yeah, our next good. goal then is to tack down our trellis so that we can properly weld it. Yeah, if we want to keep it from moving, so we're just going to put little spot welds on it. Okay. And uh, how about I do the first one, and then I'll oh, give, baby. You, give it over to you, and you can give it a shot. All right, I'm just going to get these out of your way because they're sure, not that's too great. hot. And I'm always clipping a wire and after too, because it makes for a better weld. So we have our two pieces. I'll, I'll just do it from this end here. So I'm going to put get this all ready. Okay. And then I just put my mask down and start welding. It's just a, a little tack to keep it from from going. See, so it lifts up. It's not hard. Like it's I not. You don't that. have to be Hercules to do any of this. No. This is really quite easy. So I'll give this over to okay, you. Okay, thanks. And you know, just a little squirt. You just you can put the uh, tip can of I this. Can I do this one? Sure, that's fine. I'll okay. just hold it down. Okay. For you, and you just put it right in the corner, and then you watch that you that you walk, bring your gun back and forth so that it touches both sides, and that way you know that you've so come together. So here, 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 here. Just just rock it up and down. Okay, I'll try. I just was totally doing that. Oh, oh. <laughs> that's a messy well, it, little. It didn't quite stick, but that's not a problem. That's oh, really? Like, we'll just see. This is the nice thing about when you're doing this kind of thing. We just move it over, and it was supposed to be like that, right? Yeah, I meant to be <laughs> like that. It adds more distress marks. It makes it more interesting. There we go. I'll guide your hand. Thank you. Okay. Guiding is good. Okay, that should be all right. I couldn't see. You see how much it helps girls there. to have your hand guided? Huh? <laughs> That's the there way to go. do things. And when we tack this all together, it will be very solid. Okay. But we're going to, when we're finished, then we'll put a proper bead across it just uh, to keep it really nice and solid and it'll so last a long time. Permanent, man. Maybe try this one. This one? Or whatever's easiest I for you. I think it was very helpful you guided my hand because now I know. Okay. <laughs> If I'd known what a thrill I'd get from welding, I wouldn't have had to take all those self-awareness courses in my 20s. Because welding is a great way to learn self-awareness. For one thing, you have to know where your body parts are at all times. Well, I had a lot of trouble with that in my 20s. Well, I still do. Okay, this baby be tacked. Yeah. Okay, so we've taken care of, of, of all the unsettling motions that were going on, and it was especially difficult in this area up here where there's multiple joints. But now that everything is in its place, we can actually continue um, fully welding these little spots instead of just spot welding them. Yeah, so we're going to just uh, basically do uh, a, a thicker weld across there. It's, it's just over the tacks. And we're just going to put more metal in there and just to really make it solid. Okay. So here we go. Ready? There. I love this. That's neat, eh? And, okay. and that won't fall apart. Once we have this thing welded together and all on both sides, you can use it as a ladder if you wanted to. A ladder. You know? And what a funky fine ladder that would be. <laughs> that would. Okay, Here, I'm feeling try? that surge of, yeah, I don't it, know what it is, estrogen or some other weird chemical. It's an endorphin, really. Okay, so I'm going to set it first. It's good. pretty washed. Yeah, you're doing good. I am so I close to being a professional right now. Oh, boy. <laughs> In my mind. I'd have to hire you now. I think <laughs> it could happen. OK, so yeah. I'm going to okay, do another do one. some more. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love this. Look at how pretty. It almost mm -hmm. needs a name. It has so much personality, don't you think? That's a great sculpture. That turned out really, really it's nice. It's a sculpture. Yeah, it's not a nice. trellis. It goes oh. way beyond that. And see how easy that was? I can't believe that. 
That's excellent. We, we rock. Yep. Okay, and other people rock too, because people are welding some really interesting stuff. Like this brilliant praying mantis sculpture behind us was made by Floyd Elzinga and uh, Jared Hodgeturp, and it is priceless. It floats candles in its eyes and also in that ba uh, sort of bath area at the back. And it actually was supposed to be going to a wedding tonight, but we have it instead, so we're going to have a big party and make burgers. <laughs> And then these are made by Jack Tennant, who is um, a Connecticut artist. And he does all his work with old, rusted out garden implements. And I think that's really cool. Um, and then uh, over in front here are more of Doris Trelevin's work, my, my welding buddy. And um, there's an Egyptian woman who holds this basket of flowers. That's very slick, I must say. That Let's really looks, that has a lot of character. Mm -hmm. And then the hair in here, which has a lot of heart. And people like this stuff. I mean, don't you want it for your own mm -hmm. garden? Or these? Look at how pretty and delicate. I love to. These are also made by Doris. And I love that you put these um, curly cues in the... Yeah, they, they make it a little bit more interesting. I finally got to keep a butterfly. I've been giving and selling them all. You know, it's by just... By the uh, handful. Yeah. So this is your very own? Yeah. Look, mm -hmm. look at your lovely puddles. Yeah, that's nice. They change color and transform. All right. Welding is very good, and we're very good, aren't we? Yeah, I think so. Yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> if you're ever on some game show and your prize is a trip for two anywhere in the world, my advice is to trade it in on a welding course for two. It's just as romantic. Plus, you don't have to get any shots.